this is usually the part where I say what's up, yada yada yada, but there's not really um there's not really much I can say positively now, is there? With what has literally broke while I've been sitting here, hence the delay starting the stream. Um I'm waiting, like you are, for the Paul Joyce's, for the David Ornsteins, or for anybody else, but right now the reports say that Martin Zubamendi has decided to stay at Real Sociedad. Now, of course, as this is breaking, we're working through it. We're trying to figure out what on earth is going on. We're trying to figure out how we ended up here. And we're also trying to figure out to make sure that this is correct, right? But taking it at face value, well, let me just read something out to you guys that came from the Spanish side reported by LFC Transfer Room. Martin Zubamendi will stay at Real Sociedad despite the efforts from Liverpool to bring him over and despite him already giving them the initial yes. So, as I mentioned all the way through, he told Liverpool yes. Those indications were what everybody was believing. Then it's come out over the last few minutes that he breaks his word and does a 180. That's that's the, the line at the minute. So right now... Everybody is shocked. None of the information anybody was given is how this tallies up. Your guess is as good as mine. Difficult trying to process these things in real time as you're live on a stream, but honest to God, lads. What else can I say at this point other than these owners are... Tim Pot, right now, whatever you're feeling, trust me, I'm feeling every bit as angry, every bit as disappointed, and every bit as frustrated with how we're in this position right now as a club yet again, a laughing stock. Right, so first one, why can we not sign anyone at Liverpool, said Suleiman Khan. Mate, this is breaking literally as I'm live, so I'm playing catch up like everybody else. I was sitting here about to start to go live, and then Connor just sent me an OFFS. And I looked at it and I just thought, where did this come from? So look, I'm going to start to work through uh, some of your comments, of course. Uh, I don't know what to say other than, oh, feck, said Jack. And mate, I don't know what to say either. It is it is absolutely embarrassing for our football club right, right now. This is, this is, this Tim Pot. I don't know what else to say. I'm shocked right now. I'm going to go through these real quick and then I'll give you my thoughts. Sorry to interrupt. I'd love to be a mod someday, said Marcus. Bear with me, Marcus. I'll sort that for you in a second, bro. And Harry Klein said, FSG embarrasses us three times. Don't let the hate get to you. So, look, I, I don't really care about what anyone says towards me in this situation, mate, because everything that I've said has been backed up by multiple journalists. He gave the yes. He gave the indication he wanted the move. You've seen it even reported by those who are saying that he's now changed his mind. So that's why I'm so shocked. Because not, nobody had been given any indication that he was changed in his mind. And of course, we're still waiting for all the big confirmations on this. And as and when they come in, of course, I'm going to be here to take you through them. Rabadan said, damn, let's get Gordon, Varela and Hincapié then. Uh... Suleiman Khan said, at this point, Ederson will reject us. Look, at this point, mate, these owners have turned us into an absolute laughing stock. And I don't really care what anybody else has to say about them. Right now, we have had Caicedo 2.0. And there's no excuse for it. You know, I had my faith, like everybody else, in Edwards and Hughes. And we didn't think we'd see a repeat of Caicedo and Lavia. And yeah, here we are. Now, remember everyone who was calm and said, hey, August, everything will get done in August. How are you feeling right now? So to everyone that laughed at the rest of us for being frustrated, angered and annoyed by this. Well, now we are sitting here with our todger in our hands. 5 to 9, 12th of August with no signing and back to the drawing board. Tin pot. Disgraceful. Unacceptable. But of course, there will still be some people that say, ah, we don't need signings. It's absolutely 
disgusting. People should be sacked over this. I don't care if Edwards and Hughes are only in the door. They have just turned us into a laughing stock again. I'm so angry. I'm so feckin' angry right now. Nessie said, Craig, a genuine question. How is FSG to blame? Oh, here. How are they to blame? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the fact that they own the damn football club. So, let me put it this way. In my business, if anyone below me fails at their job, guess who it falls back on? Me. Because I'm the spearhead. I'm the top of the pile. Me and Connor are the ones that make the decisions. So, how have FSG fucked up? Well, by not getting the signing. That's how. Whether it's Hughes or Edwards or whatever. Ultimately, the book stops with the owner. So, the answer to the question is, it's their fault because they own the damn club. And they're the ones with the strategy. They're the ones letting it go this late. And like I've tried to tell everybody for the last three goddamn years, they don't give a shit about Liverpool Football Club. So that's how I believe it's the owner's fault. But either way, whomever you want to blame, Hughes, Edwards, it still makes us look like a laughing stock. It still means we've got no goddamn sign-ins and there's only three weeks left in the window. Not even three weeks left in the window. Uh, Nathan Allen said, why do we go for players? Uh, said to no, no to other clubs. We don't want to move. Caicedo, we bid for and now this. Don't want to move. It's just a waste of time. Jordy LFC said, I normally agree with most of what you say, bro, but this has got nothing to do with the owners. It's loyalty on Zuba Mendy's behalf. Okay, I, I really, like, to me, honestly, mate, at this moment, I don't mind who people want to point the finger of blame at. But one thing I think, and I hope, Jordy, that we can all agree on is, it's embarrassing, yet again, for the football club. Caicedo, Lavia, and now Zuba Mendy. Three players, three rejections under the ownership. Different sets of sporting directors, different people negotiating it, but ultimately, it's down to the owners. Uh, look, but that's my view on it, and I respect everybody else's view on it, but I hope that we all say here is, it's an embarrassment, and it isn't good enough. Whomever you want to feel responsible for it, I get it. I'm not going to try to correct you. All I can talk about is how I feel. Uh, G. Williams should have paid the money that Sociedad asked uh, rather than spending over a week, given the impression that we weren't fussed so now he's staying. Again, the indication was from him to Liverpool that he wanted the move. And then it was just a matter of, well, how do they figure out the finances with Sociedad? And I, remember, this is an evolving story right now, so I'm kind of playing catch-up as well. But it is an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment, mate. 